Hi everybody, good morning. I'm doing one of the rooms uh, that was released, I think, last week uh, from TryHackMe around Cube CVE 2025-49113 Exploit CVE in lab environment. So basically here if you want to uh, proof of the concept for this machine, it's uh, it's uh, it's a free room, you can test it, uh, you can start uh, um, you have the machine, we have two machines, we have the, the attack machine, we have the target machine when we have the round cube installed. I have them here. Uh, we have, this is uh, our round cube, the, the available version. Uh, so there is, uh, the, uh, let's go there, so round cube as we know, when, when if you do uh, web hosting and cPanel, most of the time you get uh, round cube is by default is installed, uh, most of the server running like uh, PHP, MySQL, type of Apache, Nginx, Lighted, HTTP, all of them, they have most of them, it's easy to install, only need database and web server, uh, there is a recent VNPT discovery of okay, webmail, it's effect version 1.5, 1.6 and before 1.5.10 and 1.6.11, it allow uh, remote code execution RCE by authenticated user so you need to have uh, an, ac an account first you know the valid credentials for the webmail are enough for the attacker to execute a command on the host system this vanity has a CVSS3 severity is called 99 so it's very dangerous uh, we can start the room the room basically uh, uh, first of all the whole point of uh, its uh, related a uh, series uh, serialization that happen in PHP the process of converting an object class instance in PHP Java Python to storable or transmittable format this process is commonly used for storing object in file or database and for setting object across the network such API or cookies this is basically the whole thing for uh, uh, deserialization vulnerability is security flow uh, that occur when an application deserializes and trusted or tempered data basically when, uh, when you start the serialization that's where you inject your payload and then when you deserialization uh, data is the process converted data from serialized formats such as byte stream or string back into the program object and that's it uh, the issue that happened in uh, this is the, the guy who discovered it so uh, Chris Rikirsov and you find in the the element form is not uh, sanitized in the file upload.php and he has very uh, good write-up if you follow it is so we'll share the link too he has uh, and you can see uh, it starts uh, looking uh, showing all the function that Ancoop sessions and serialize the way where you find the fair function and then you find that's the way start tempering and you give us uh, the form element that's the form that usually uh, the, the issue where is not and then uh, this one I started I did some testing but I don't have access to the server so you can upload uh, a picture for example and you can see the this is the the, the whole things this for the form and the score form is the one that variable so because when you uh, this is you need to to give access to the server I think to to check it you see that the identity is inside which is basically uh, form edit identity that's the one he said uh, and then he went through how to uh, inject so he found the function uh, I think I need, um, I'm not sure if, uh, too much about it, but, and then at the end you have the process, uh, um, and then we have uh, round cube uh, post authentication as a PHP object, and we have now the PHP uh, the code that to be used for, uh, uh, for proof of concept. Now, uh, of course, the, this is just, uh, for example, object new class. You, these are functions that do serialization, and these functions that do end serialization. Now, if we want to uh, apply this room in practice, for example, also you can see it here in the in the commit. You can see, for example, here uh, that's the form. Now they start. Uh, 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 get input string form and then before and if it's not he said you if 
type your parameter form contain this log character so in here they did update version of it and did this uh, for the 1.5 they also know they fixed that so you can see what the issue was specifically for underscore form parameter now if we want to practice now in uh, uh, in our room uh, the practice to, to test the exploit, for example, our plus is exactly we need to clone this. If you don't have internet because uh, uh, internet attack box, you need to be premium subscriber. If you don't have internet, you can just copy and paste uh, the code. For example, now let's do that. Let me go to CVE. That's the code. Let's see if uh, to uh, what's going. Uh, that's the process. Now we just need to add. Uh, uh, no, we don't need to do anything. I think we already have uh, we have access to the machine. We have a username and we have the password. So for for you to 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 do this, so the the, the you you do the PHP uh, the uh, the script the target your username password and command. Uh, try like me in here. They do in bind uh, bind uh, uh, reverse share. We'll come back to this now. Uh, we don't need to. We can do different uh, uh, shell because look for example here you tell us you have the command you have this and we can do a command we are not access to the server we can do that. we can test now these things let's do this quickly before let's do the simple one as try hack me and then we can do something else um, let me copy that No, it's, it's, I'm not. Uh, uh, I did mistake. Uh, let's see. It's uh, so basically uh, the machine is ten, ten to five three. This is the machine for the. You can see two five three twelve, uh, and we have round cube, and then we have a username. We have the password. The machine also has. We let's try first the way the way Triacme is doing, and then. Uh, of course, to connect to bind, uh, bind uh, reverse shell is same as they said here in Triacme room. You can see it's already there. Then, of course, you just connect NCE to uh, the, the, the port, the machine, the machine we know. So in NC 10.10.253.2.53. Uh, Let's see if we have the port. Uh, no, uh, triple four. When you connect it, because it's bind, it doesn't wait for you. So if you do PW, we are, we are there. Uh, you have the we are inside the machine. Who am I? Uh, you have data. Um, so for example, now if I want to ask the question, so for example, uh, one of the user that first name uh, Maggie, what's her uh, last name? So for example, this one it would be. Uh, card etc. You can just give a password. Uh, Maggie Byte. So he has Maggie. Her name is uh, Byte. So we can go that one straight. And then, for example, it was the value of the flag in etc. The flag it. Uh, for example, you can just say card it. Uh, uh, card etc. Uh, flag dot txt. This is just a way to set to you how to uh, because you are inside the machine you already have that now let's uh, let's do, uh, do, because I saw sometimes uh, for example now let's uh, not exit just control C kill the, the chain it, it doesn't mean we need to have a bind we can just do the traffic minus L VMP one two three four I can for example do I can just come here and re reverse share generator uh, I can do one, two, three, four. I can do my machine. My target machine is two, five, two. Uh, math eight, two. I can do the classic that we always use. This NC. I can just do that. Uh, I can copy this. I can do that. I can code this. Let's clear. Let me go now. I don't need to, we, because we can put commands here. We can just put this there. And then it hang here, and then we can get the, and then we have uh, the usual uh, shell. So we can go to cut it is cut it is flag dot dot txt, and then uh, that's the flag. 
so you can get reverse shell you can do reverse shell in uh, uh, control that so we kill the shell here we can use uh, a python one for example uh, I can use uh, a python shell for example let's do this uh, the port is one two three four let me go back to create the shell there and I can just remove this and we can do a python shell for example and we can click there and then then I got it, I didn't got the shell oh what's wrong with my shell uh, my attack box IP, hold on a minute, I put the wrong uh, IP Uh, 252.82 and now we got now we have a nice shell or am I uh, uh, ls we can have the uh, where they put ls config and then we can get the cut conf uh, config uh, config.anc.php what's inside that file and then we can get the, all the stuff that we need for uh, this is trackme.local uh, we have uh, what's this uh, config this is key all the stuff that we need you, you might need uh, stuff like that now let's play around now let's uh, let's exit of this now let's say if I want to clear, let's create something, let's play fancy of python 3.9 minus m http dot server like for example if I want um, uh, I want to get the flag through command line, let's do uh, my IP is uh, uh, 252.82 yeah, that's my IP. So, for example, now, how about uh, no? That's that's wrong. No, that's uh, the command I need is this one. So I can send the flag directly. If you want to practice some some things, like for example, now it's a two five two, two five two. Uh, I have my web server. If I want to send the, the flag, so I we can copy this the command. I can go for example to again to to this command and I can say because I know the flag is there so I can just send uh, I can I don't need to ask the machine bash minus cut etc flag base send it to my uh, server let's see if it does work now we got uh, base 64 we can take this base 64 can go here uh, you can for example uh, cyberchef if you want to go cyberchef we can just go cut or echo wherever you want uh, let's see let's try a different option so for example there and then we can see we have the flag of course you can do um, echo Uh, oops, where are you? Base uh, 64 minus D, and we can get the things the same. So basically, the same things we can get. For example, if I want, uh, uh, let's see, I want uh, the the past WD file. For example, and we got all this. Uh, we got this result now so we can get this why is freezing now if I put that there and then you got uh, etc password file so you can see uh, we can try different approach we can try another one for example uh, this one to use bash this is the one that worked for me so if you want to use uh, bash directly uh, cut bash we can use also the other one that work 
you um, use a simple bash script approach the other normal one didn't work for me now this one is use a printf we can use this printf let me see the IP one my IP no that's not the correct IP for my server so we can use oh no that one is a uh, port that's correct so my IP is 252.82 so now I want the flag base64 and convert to curl so if I go back so we got the same thing so you can see so you have two options this is the only one that work uh, <coughs> when I try to do the normal one for some reason doesn't work so we can run command directly from here and get the results straightforward so yeah so basically this is this is uh, this is uh, did we got the flag that side uh, we got the flag of course mitigation is basically use uh, running 1.5 and 1.6 or comma to update to 1.5.10 and 1.6.11 respectively and uh, or for example they said block upload.php that's the entry point and yeah uh, and, and you can say that's the room for a try like me it's simpler room but if you want to practice in safe environment that is good for you it's a free room you can play around it um, this is the the proof of concept uh, this is the the security alert update from uh, round cube if you want, <coughs> you want more detailed technical information you can go to this blog uh, or make your own setup <coughs> and then this is the the, the github repo that showing the updates uh, yeah uh, this is quick update so the shell you can as said you can get a bind shell bind shell like uh, the one that uh, triac me did here this is the the bind shell uh, you can do a, a bind shell or you can get your own reverse shell like we did before now and you can send data through python it's good to practice for ctf i uh, hope you like it guys and yeah thank you very much and have a good day